The excitement around your visit, Holy Father, must be attributed not only to your role as Pope. If you read the book of Romans, it's clear that salvation is not by obedience to the law, but by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ. So it's not by works, it's by faith that one is saved. What happened was a total revisitation, if you will, a total, um, how can I say it, upside down, topsy-turvy world that henceforth would be totally upside down from what it had been. So we had Vatican II. We had to have Vatican II to prepare us for this universalist, globalist, one world religion. Pastors of the Christian churches all over Ireland and the people of the Catholic Church accepted the Catholic Church as a genuine form of Christianity. And that meant the end of the true Christian faith in Ireland in 1172. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Um, I'd like to begin uh, with something that you've said in your book, and that is that the, the, the devil is lodging in the Vatican. With all of the allegations we've seen recently of sexual abuse involving priests, do you believe that is the devil's work? Whenever the devil gets control of a nation, and I don't care where it is, he demands human sacrifice. That is the price that those who give themselves to the devil must pay. The true Christian church recognized this effort. And because they had the unction of the Holy Spirit, they weren't beguiled by the, by the tricks of trying to Judaize the church. However, there were a mass of people who were nominal Christians, who were attracted by the popularity of the Christian church, and the novelty uh, and the merits of what the Christian church represented. Well, yes, the devil tempts everyone. He tempts everyone in every environment. In particular, he tempts those on top. In politics, in economics, in sport. And naturally, he tempts above all the religious leaders. So you shouldn't be surprised if the devil tempts those in the Vatican. Kovenbach, Mr. Kovenbach is, of course, the Jesuit general. He commands his staff, which consists of his assistants, seven or eight of them. Now, one of them is his confessor. He has an advisor, and then he has his assistants that are over various continents. And then underneath those assistants are the provincials. The provincials report to their assistants. The assistants report then to the Jesuit general. And that's how they keep tabs on all the intelligence and what's going on in all the nations of the world. There were factions of the Christian church which developed into this uh, Jewish sort of Christianity. And this Jewish Christianity ultimately developed into what we now know today as the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church is essentially Judaism for Gentiles. All right? And if, if you understand the nature of Judaism, when the Jews uh, were freed from their Babylonian capti captivity, they brought with them the witchcraft that they learned from the Babylonians and they inculcated that witchcraft into what we call today Judaism. You hear a lot of people that they'll call in on the talk shows and they'll say, oh, the Vatican is in charge, the Vatican is in charge, the Vatican is running the world system. It's the Jesuits, you know, Eric John Phelps says it's the, the Jesuits are running the show. But when you actually look at what's happened in the Vatican mm -hmm. since World War II, mm -hmm. it has taken a distinctly pro-Jewish, pro science Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, and that was planned that way, by the way. As I mentioned, the play The Deputy and the psychological impact it had on the whole world um, and, and why it was written and produced, that turned everything upside down, particularly aimed at the church, the Catholic Church. Some people in the church, when they talk about the devil, when they talk about Satan, they use it as a metaphor for the weakness of human beings. You're talking about something very real, aren't you? The Jesuits were the foremost in the Counter-Reformation in Hungary. They set about successfully reconverting people from the Christian faith back to Romanism. And the golden age of biblical faith in Hungary was lost. According to Solzhenitsyn, the communists have already killed 66 million of their own people in Russia, either through war, execution or slave labor camps. That is the price that the communists paid to Lucifer and to his antichrist. And so the Pharisees 
were actually engaging in witchcraft and Jesus called them out for that, okay? The fact that they had replaced the laws of God with their traditions and those traditions were based on this Babylonian rich witchcraft. Absolutely, very real. I'm saying that if you believe in the gospel, you believe in the existence of the devil. The devil's power to possess people, the power that he has to take possession of people. John Paul I, I mean, it's, it's, it's well known now at this time that he had every intention to clean the Masons out of the Vatican. But of course, they, they murdered him first. They killed him within 33 days. The World Bank will see to it that every other nation is brought to its knees through inflation, through a huge national debt. Everybody will be enslaved to this World Bank whose chief executive is the Antichrist. Now the Jesuits are essentially uh, a, a priesthood which is answerable to the Pope. All right, They are not answerable to any of the regional cardinals. They are answerable directly to the Pope. And they are the militia of the Roman Catholic Church, of the Vatican. If you look up Caesarea, you will find that there were many Jews who lived in Caesarea. Caesarea was a Gentile nation composed of white Gentiles, and there were also black Gentiles there. Hmm. There were also Jews there who conducted commerce. And now we have another Jesuit, Pope Francis. He makes no bones about the fact that he was trained a Jesuit, and he still is very much a Jesuit and acts very much like a Jesuit. They're part of a conspiracy um, against God and man. And so the, uh, the Jesuits are a crypto-Jewish organization, and they basically control the Roman Catholic Church. Can you imagine if the full weight and force and power of the Vatican was to debunk Zionism and the Holocaust? Which they, oh, which they never They wouldn't brought. dare. They wouldn't dare. No, but what I'm saying is, yeah. can, you, can you see how subordinate the Vatican yeah. is to Judaism? Oh, absolutely is. Yeah, there's no question about it. I mean, it has been, as I said, since uh, the uh, Vatican II. Pope Francis presenting the Roman Church as if it were a genuine Christian church. And the world bowing down to it. And people accepting Romanism. Uh, the doctrines of the Jesuit, they actually hold the Jesuit general in higher esteem and higher authority over the Pope, and the Jesuit generals typically, they refer to him as the Black Pope. The Bible and tradition also warn us that the agents of the Antichrist will infiltrate the Catholic Church and will take over its visible structure. I'm afraid this is what we are seeing today, not only in America, but throughout the world.